Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I am Rider of Dinosaurs. Today I'm going to look into a video by Mr. Truth. <coughs> nope, believe it or not, it's not about him. This is Mr. Truth, and he talks fast. As always, and before we get started, a big thank you to my Patreons. You people are incredible. And one more quick announcement. Logical Troglodyte has received his prize for winning the Rider of Dinosaurs IQ game. Congratulations! I hope you like your prize. And now, without any further ado, let's get started. So when looking through a telescope at the stars like the Sirius star you see in this video, uncomfortable questions come to mind in human beings' brains, some human beings, because a big majority of human beings do not like to ask questions because it's much more easier. Breathe, man. Just breathe. Take it easy. There's no time limit on YouTube. Just slow down. It's easier to be a sheep. <laughs> or a cow. Or a goat. <laughs> in the Matrix. Oh, not this Matrix. Not the dot Matrix printer. Oh, alright, you mean this Matrix. Alright. But let's continue and see if he gets to his point. Why the heck does Sirius and other stars look so different than the official NASA Space Agency pictures? You mean that colored blob in your black square wobbling about? That's an out-of-focus star. Here, let me show you. Oh, the stars must be alive. They're in water. Oh, wow, look at that. Idiots, look at this. Look, it's called focus. Manual focus. There is a star in focus, and it's probably still not perfectly focused. I'd have to adjust my ISO and other settings. But look, I can zoom all the way in with uh, look at that. Oh, still a f***ing out of focus star. So, as you can see. All you need to do is one little thing. Focus. But let's continue. I'm sure you've got more intelligent things to say. In the 3D software engineering systems like Photoshop. Wow, that didn't take long, did it? Photoshop, a 3D tool? Really? Do you even know what Photoshop is? Or are you just spewing out information that you heard from somewhere else? Um, and they look so different. They look like uh, in being in water, in water, in a medium of water. So it looks so different than what you see on official documentaries, right? So again, the question is, uh, why what I see with my eyes and my 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 my? You didn't plan this part well, did you? I bet you you were going to say with my eyes and my face, but then you realize halfway through that would sound silly. Just for the fun of it, let's hear it again, okay? why what I see with my eyes and my 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 you were really struggling there weren't you but let's continue the supreme scientists say it seems I found a fluff was even worse than JM I can't seem to have more than a few seconds of a clip before he says something utterly ridiculous that I have to stop and comment on supreme scientists who are these people come on name them if you seem to know who they are just name them Flat earthers and conspiracy theorists in general seem to have a problem naming their sources or even when they say they, the scientists, the supreme scientists. Come on, if you have that special knowledge, just share it. Say who they are. Name people. Point fingers. No? Okay, let's continue. The question is, well, why do you see these stars in a watery kind of style? At the danger of repeating myself, but I have to, it's focus, or in this case, the lack thereof. Try focusing, and you'll see things a lot differently. Or are you an intellectually dishonest person who actually knows what's going on and you're just pushing a narrative? 
perfect. And then you read the ancient texts and Enoch, the book of Enoch and all that stuff, and you see that the world has been created by a supreme being uh, with the council and all that stuff, and it's flat, there's no curvature, and a dome has been forged, has been created, and above that dome, which has a, some kind of like type of crystal look or feeling to it. Some type of crystal look or feeling to it. Hmm, that's really specific, isn't it? Right. There's waters, right? So if you have waters above the dome, which means that you, we are in a pool, we are protected in that pool by having a dome on, on the top, and then that's why you see the stars like in a watery or watery type of uh, thing, because the stars are beyond the waters that are above the dome, right? So I guess that's the reason why when you look at the stars with a telescope or a Nikon camera, you see all that stuff as if you're looking through a pool of water. No, and I can't stress this enough. What's happening is you are out of focus. And because of atmospheric interference, the light wobbles. And that's the reason it looks like water. Try and focus. You'll see the difference. So the question is, do I have to trust what I learned in school with NASA and Discovery Channel and the scientists and academia and all that stuff? Nah, just trust a book which is about, what, 2,000 years old? Much more accurate, of course and all the technology that the, the scientists and learning things in school has brought us like the microphone you're using, the computer you're using, the internet that you're using, ah, just throw that all away. Oh, and don't forget the telescopes and the P900 that you used as well. Just ignore all the science behind all of that. Trust the Book of Enoch and just go run with it or should i just believe my own instinct and i see this through the telescope and through the nikon cameras and i see hey i see this is totally different from what they teach me or they indoctrinate me in school flat earthers and conspiracy theorists like to throw your way the comment of trust your own senses let's do a quick exercise shall we what do you see do you see four intertwined circles or do you see four circles inside each other? If you really want to have a quick look and try to figure it out, pause the video now. You have not figured it out yet? Let me show you. And this is what it really is. One circle inside the other. How's that for trusting your senses? But I got another one, even better than this one. Look at this one. You can't figure out what it is? I can tell you, this is not an animation. Don't believe me? Pause the video and you'll see it will still move. How is that for trusting your senses? When it comes to science, senses are meaningless, are pointless, and they're actually an obstruction. So yeah, you want to be like Mr. Truth? Trust your senses. Believe what you want but don't push your narrative towards our way and tell us it's the truth. Why? Because you're free to believe whatever you want to believe. Just don't try to convince everyone else. And at the end of the day, it will be a little bit hypocritical, pushing your narrative as the truth and ignoring everyone else's. Let me use a little bit more of Mr. Truth's video to demonstrate what I mean. Or should I just leave everything behind and just go to a religious church and believe that I'm going to live happily ever after in all eternity? Hypocrisy number one. Believe what I say and not what other people say. Believe my book and not other people's book. I don't know. I mean, there's lots of movies and the series under the dome and cartoons and they show you the truth. Hypocrisy number two. If I find a movie or a series that supports my narrative, then it's the truth. If it doesn't support my narrative, then it's fake. Now, I fail to see how Under the Dome actually supports your narrative, though, because let's have a quick look, shall we? So this is the synopsis. Under the Dome tells the story of residents of the fictional town of Chester's Mills when a massive, transparent, indestructible dome suddenly cuts them from the rest of the world. Now, how does that equate to a flat Earth and a dome on the flat Earth? 
but if in some convoluted way it does, then why is under the dome the truth and lost in space not the truth? Is it because under the dome in some weird way fits your narrative? And because lost in space talks about space and you don't believe in space, that's the reason it's fake? Well, that's your opinion, isn't it? What's your, you know, do you, do, you act, do you accept what you learn in books and you indoctrinate yourself with? Now, this is precious. This from someone who said on his own video. And then you read the ancient texts and Enoch, the book of Enoch and all that stuff. And you see that the world has been created by a supreme being uh, with the council and all that stuff. And it's flat. There's no curvature. Now, that's ironic, isn't it? So we are indoctrinated because we read books and we learn from them. And yet, your proof of flat earth comes from... The Book of Enoch. <coughs> or do you accept what you see through telescopes and Nikon cameras? Um, stars in water environments, uh, the water is above the dome, or do you believe some other stuff like um, a religious uh, interesting desserts? Did you just say religious desserts? A religious... Uh, interesting desserts. I think you meant religious texts, but then, once again, halfway through, you realize that the Book of Enoch is a religious text. So you just, I don't know, tried something, didn't work. Um, you know you could have taken it out in editing, right? That's how editing software works. You can cut things out when you make mistakes. Before I finish, I'd like to thank Gary Graham for this wonderful, wonderful gift he gave me. A glass engraved me my logo. Thank you, Gary. Thank you very much. If there is enough interest, I might ask Gary into a business partnership so we can start selling these glasses. Just let me know in the comment section if you think I should start selling these. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video. If you'd like to see yourself in one of my videos, how about getting a t-shirt, taking a picture, sending it to me, and then I will feature it like these people, like these really, really cool people who took their pictures and sent it to me. Aren't they adorable? Don't they look trendy? Who's next? It could be you. Just think about it. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and if you want to support me further, consider following me on Twitter, buying a t-shirt, or become one of my Patreons. The links will be in the description.